Amanshal Sedana with Arista Networks. In today's world of cloud computing, cloud storage, and cloud applications, our life has changed for the better. We have access to information more readily. We can make business decisions faster and can collaborate better in a global environment. As the application model around us is changing, so is the network architecture that powers these clouds. There are five key principles for designing cloud networks. Design principle number one, one network for all applications. Building flatter networks and sufficient bandwidth for east-west traffic or inter-server traffic. Legacy network designs were hierarchical. They have high oversubscription and a very high latency. They simply weren't designed for servers to talk to each other, but for traditional server client applications such as FTP or email. A two-tier leaf-spine network with very little to no oversubscription can provide the interconnect necessary for all applications. Not only does this allow the developers to leverage all the compute and storage resources, this approach also lowers your cost by reducing unnecessary layers of switches, optics, and fiber. Cloud networking is about one uniform architecture that works for all applications such as big data, storage, virtualization, or legacy enterprise applications such as CRM and exchange servers. Design principle number two, standards-based technologies. Using standards-based technologies such as IEEE LACP at layer two or OSPF or BGP at layer three allows you to grow incrementally from your existing designs. Arista MLAG at layer two can scale to over 6,000 servers interconnected in a two-tier design, again, using LACP to interconnect to other leaf switches or servers. Design principle number three, overlays for addressing virtualization needs. You need to use overlays on standard-based networks instead of using proprietary fabrics in order to enable multi-tenant virtualized environments. VXLAN, which is a form of IP in IP encapsulation format, works well to interconnect virtual and physical devices without giving up the benefits of standard layer three equal cost multipath network designs. Design principle number four, automate. Provisioning and monitoring. With technologies such as zero touch provisioning, you can bring up a rack within minutes rather than hours. By integrating into cloud stacks such as quantum framework with OpenStack, you can provision a VM within seconds rather than weeks. Automation applies not just to the initial provisioning, but also monitoring of the network once it goes into service. Tools that provide visibility into traffic congestion, packet buffer utilization, data analysis are equally important for the network to function efficiently and provide visibility to the operators. Design principle number five, programmability of the network. The world around us is changing daily. Automation is necessary in any IT framework in order to make our teams more efficient so that we can all focus on the strategic work rather than the day-to-day -day tactical work. APIs that allow applications to drive network behavior are now a requirement and enables you to leverage software-defined networking and customize the network based on your needs. Arista Cloud Networking scales from 100 servers to 100,000 servers in a two-tier design. With MLAG at layer two, you can build a two-tier network that goes to hundreds of racks with layer three and four way or eight way or 16 way or even 32 way CMP, you can build networks using OSPF or BGP for over 100,000 servers and 1 million VMs. EOS APIs, OpenStack integration, latency and data analysis are attributes that will allow you to build reliable, scalable, software defined cloud networks. Cloud networking applies to everyone, the small, the medium, and the large enterprises, as we will either need to compete with the cloud or be in the cloud. Thank you.